The Goy Hunter is going to another neighborhood with Dollar Trees. I doubt if they have anything, but let's look. I'll look through. sections of more older movies, so if you, too bad, I wasn't collecting these old ones. Dollar trees, look at the trees. Wow. Let's, let's dive into this one. Let's get a view of the, oh, we know it's a dog. Since it's on the way to the other Dollar Tree, I'm going to check out the 99 cent store again. I hope they got something. Got some new stuff. Look at that. Look at that. I will go through it and see what I can find for you guys at the 99 cent store. The Dollar Tree on the way to the 99 cent store. Let's check it out. Lots of old stuff. But we'll look. The 99 cent store again. I'm on my way to a luncheon, but I'm so naughty that I decided to stop and look. Just look. You never know, right? Never leave a stone unturned. That's my model. Here we go. And it was right in front of me. At first, I was walking aimlessly, but here it is. It looks like the same stuff, but let's dive in anyway. Let's hit the big lots. They usually have the same stuff, but we're here. We'll get it. Watch out for the cars. Same stuff. I wonder why this big lots never gets new stuff. Well, I'll look through it anyway. In the big bin. Should we dig through? Should we? Should we? You might have new stuff. Well, it's six ninety six. Let's do it. Hi everyone. Here we are at another Dollar Tree. We're gonna try our luck here. Maybe there's some movies left from the last haul. Okay, we're diving in found the movies and there's quite a bit but it looks like it's the uh, same old stuff but let's dive in aloha welcome back everyone it's the goy hunter and today we have a mixed bag of a blu-ray and dvd haul we have things from the dollar tree walmart Big Lots, and the 99 cent store. So I got a little, I got stuff from every store, but let's start off with the digital giveaway, the new way we give it away to all subscribers, my loyal subscribers, new subscribers, if you'd like to win three digital codes. I'll go over the rules again. It is easy. I'm going to make it the first 50 entries now. The first 50 entries, any entries after the 50 is invalid. You get to select a number between 1 and 150. And then in the comments below, put your guess. After we hit 50 guesses, I will find out who the winner is and then make a little short video like the last time. Again, all my loyal subscribers, and if you'd like a chance to win, you must subscribe to my channel. And here are the three movies. I know this time to cover up the QR code. Uh, the first movie you could win is Annihilation. Annihilation with Natalie Portman. The second movie you could win, these are digital copies, 
Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. And the last one, I got all these Disney stuff to give away. Oh, Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. So those are the three digital codes that are being given away on this video. Again, the first 50 entries. After that, null and void. Choose a number between 1 and 150. That's it. Put in the comments what number you choose, and I will select it with that random number generator like the last time. Good luck, everyone. So let's go digging into the goodies. Let's start off with Big Lots, since I have two little bags. Okay, here we go. Oh, this one I thought I had in my collection, and I did work on this film. Priest. Priest, the unrated version. Priest. Now, this film was a very fun film to work on. So many people wanted to work on it because they got to get prosthetics applied to their face. They got to play vampires. They got to play monsters. It was a fun, fun set to work on. They treated the background very nice. And, and um, I know the movie didn't do too well. But working on it was great. I love visiting the set. It was like I was in another world. The props department, the set designer, wow, priest. So I, I might have my name in the credits here. I'm not sure. Sometimes they leave us out, but who knows? If you have it, you can watch it and see if my name's there. Yay. Oh, and don't forget Maggie Q is in there too. And then the next one. Oh, I bought it because it was 75 cents. Transformers Prime, the ultimate rivals. That's all I have to say about that one. The next one is Les Miserables. This is the Liam Neeson version. I hardly see this version, so I scooped it up. And it was on sale. Uma Thurman's in this one. I don't believe this is a musical, and it's a very good cast. Les Miserables. This, ooh, oh, 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 I bought this because of the cover. Superman the movie with Gene Hackman and Christopher Reeves. Look at that beautiful artwork. I already have the Blu-ray but and the 4K, but I just love the cover art, so I bought it for that. And then, oh boy, <laughs> Ernest movie collection. Ernest in the Army, Ernest Goes to Africa. Hey Vern, it's my photo album. This was also on sale, I believe for $1.50 or less, so I snatched it up just to put in my Ernest collection. And, you know, I had this thing about the big lot uh, price tag, so I take them all off. So you can see, actually see the front cover. And then I got this, Looney Tunes Unleashed, the Bugs Bunny. Hey, oh. oh no, that's Porky Pig, sorry. I bought this also to complete my Looney Tunes collection. Oh, and my Scooby-Doo collection and the Ghosts. I believe this was on sale too. There you go. I go to Big Lots just to look at all the the media on sale and sometimes to complete my cartoon collections. And this one I found with a slipcover. Scooby-Doo Moon Monsters Madness original movie. And it has a slipcover. But the slipcover is a little bent, but that's okay. I was glad to find it anyway. Okay, that's the first bag. And the second bag, the big lots. Oh, now, I do love Tony Curtis. I grew up with him. Tony Curtis inherits 40 pounds of trouble. And this was shot 
on location at Disneyland. It's a romantic comedy. I haven't seen this, but uh, back in the 60s, it was a big thing to shoot at Disneyland. So I believe Tony Curtis inherits this little girl and he has to take care of her. Of course, he's a bachelor playboy in this, as always. But, again, the first feature film to be shot at Disneyland. So, I grabbed it. The second movie? I just grabbed for the slipcover. Oblivion. I love this movie. But when I saw the slipcover, I snatched it up. Um, because it... Oh, I thought it was still stuck. See, it, it was a $5 movie, but oh well. I already have the 4K and the Blu-ray, but just the artwork alone was worth it. The next one I bought, snatched, was the Digibook of the Son of God. It says, only at Walmart. It, it looked very, very well put together. You can see there's a, a book and the Blu-ray inside. And of course, it is about the Son of God, Jesus Christ. So I did snatch that up. And then I saw only one of these. And I didn't, I only have one of the Blu rays. It's the Star Trek movie picture trilogy. This is the Star Trek, the original crew with William Shatner, Leonard Nimoy. It's digitally remastered. It has The Wrath of Khan, my favorite, The Search for Spock, and The Voyage Home. So I thought it was a good deal. For five bucks, I got three, three of them. Here's the side. Oh, and there's a, it's a steel book. Wait, no, sorry. It looked like that. And then I found these two gems. This is from the director of The Boogeyman. His version of The Black Dahlia. Uh, his name is Yelly Lomels. I'm sorry if I killed it. Uh, based on America's most disturbing unsolved murders. This is his take on The Black Dahlia. So I snatched that up. I've never seen this DVD. And then I also, by the same director, the BTK Killer, based on the true story of one of the most twisted serial killers in America. So, as you know, I, I do like to watch movies about uh, true crime. So that was a good find. Those two I really was happy about. Uh, let's dig around on the bottom of the barrel. This is at the Dollar Tree. I was really scraping around from the last haul. But I did manage to find some things. For instance, I found this. The Blu-ray World Champions 2017. I decided to snag this one. It's the 2017 World Series. Eh. Part of history, American history. And then I found these, this weird one. Who who grew up knowing the band Ambrosia? <laughs> uh, this is made by a uh, Hollywood music store. This is the real artists at work, Ambrosia. It's a documentary. Behind the scenes bonus footage. And then they had Ario Speedwagon. Behind the scenes, raw footage. Real artists at work. Again, by the Hollywood Music Store. I never saw it, so I grabbed it. Hmm. Who knows? And then I saw this one that I didn't see yet. Uh, Prehistoric Planet. The Complete Dino Dynasty. BBC Video. Narrated by... Ooh, Ben Stiller. I love me some dinosaurs. So I grabbed that one. And then I found this thing. Forrest Whitaker, Joan Cusack, 
Toys in the Attic, an uh, animated series. Oh, sorry, animated movie. And, and it says it's a masterpiece. Huh. So, I grabbed that one too. I haven't seen that one. And then I saw this. And I haven't seen this one either. Renee, Renee Zellweger, my one and only. Look at that. It's a romantic comedy. Eric McCormick is also in it. Nick Stahl, Steven Weber. And she's playing a Southern Belle turned New York socialite who leaves her philanthropy husband and heads out on the road with two teenage, two teenagers. Huh. Rom-com. And then, sorry about that. I was so tickled pink. Tickled pink. My favorite, Tony Collette in Mental. With Liv Schreiber. You know, I, I love my Tony. So this is uh, from the director of Muriel's Wedding. Wow, great film. Uh, refreshingly funny and fabulously insane. So Tony Collette reunites with the director in this wild, inspiring comedy about being true to yourself. Oh, she's larger than life in this mental. And then I found this. Oh, I'm sorry. There was three more. I gotta throw that bag up. This was so sad. It says facing extinction. Assyrian Christians in Iraq, narrated by Jim Cazell. This documentary. Oh. Uh, I had to grab it. it. It grabbed my heart. It's a commentary by U.S. Senators and Congresswomen. Women. It's about the persecution, kidnapping, and murder of Assyrian Christians in Iraq. And it's tragically increasing. Very hardcore documentary. Oh boy. I don't know what I was thinking. I just grabbed it. Freestyle. Corbin Blue. High School Musical. It's a 20th Century Fox release. Look, it was $4.99 originally. It's going to be a lot of heart to win at the Game of Love. And last but not least, I think I've seen this. Other people picked it up. Another doggy movie. A dog on Hollywood. The dog's in the plane. Uh, oh, Cynthia. Uh, how do you... Cynthia... Mm, that she was a martial artist. Cynthia Rothwall. Rock is in this. I just grabbed it. I didn't see it. I never saw it at Dollar Tree. So what the heck, right? And then I stopped by at the 99 cent store and also bought this. See, it has a tag still on it. The Black Widow recycle bag. Now this one. I found a lot of um, animation in here. So I did snatch it up finally because of Gilda Radner. Which is Night Out. Her voice is on this. I figure I better grab it before I don't see it anywhere. And then I found Janine Turner or, and James Sheridan. It's Beauty, a modern, let's see. A modern retelling of a classic novel. If you don't remember her, she was on General Hospital way back. Uh, the Luke and Laura days. Anyway, I just grabbed it. <laughs> Sorry. And then I... This was at the Dollar Tree, but I missed it. Remember, the future will not divide us. It's a futuristic science fiction thriller. There you go. Oh, more Scooby-Doo madness. Scooby-Doo, blowout beach bash. This is a Lego story. So, might as well add this to my Scooby-Doo collection. There you go. And then I found this interesting. 
TV Guide Spotlight, 20 Episodes, TV's Greatest Crime Stoppers. It has Dragnet, Code 3, Man with the Camera, Dick Tracy, etc., etc., etc. Here's the back. You can, you can uh, freeze it and look at all the different TV shows on this. So, I haven't seen it, so I grabbed it. Oh, Plaid... Plaid X2 would like it. It's black and white. I know he likes that black and white stuff. And then, I wasn't sure if I had this already, but I grabbed it just in case. It's the BBC Top Gear, the complete first season. Yep, because uh, I started it, started collecting this from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure if I had season one yet, so it's better to be safe than sorry in my book. Yes, it is. And then I found this Blu-ray 3D. I think this is also at the Dollar Tree. Lion of Judah. This land that saved the world. <laughs> Look at that cute little lamb. I couldn't... I had to grab this one. I, I feel like the 99 cent store is my safety net. If I couldn't find it at Dollar Tree or I missed it, I can always maybe find it at the 99 cent store. And then I found another Scooby-Doo, Big Top Scooby-Doo, original movie. I really, really lucked out with getting a lot of Scooby-Doo in this haul. Oh boy, another Scooby-Doo and the zombies. They're all beginning to look alike. There you go. I bought this for my niece, Monster High. New ghoul, ghoul at school. I guess instead of girl, ghoul. I will probably send this to her if her mom says it's okay. They don't like them watching too much of that kind of shows. And then let's throw the bag down. Oh, great. Nicolas Cage and Sam Rockwell, matchstick men. Great film. Look, it's in the flipper case. About two con men. And um, Nicolas Cage character has OCD and he has all those ticks. He has to do things three times. It's hilarious. I can't tell you too much. But this is great prime Nicolas Cage. And this is the original release. 2003 flipper case. I, this is history right here. I'm just going to keep it sealed. Um, then I found Reindeer, Family, and Me. Take a trek through nature's wonderland, BBC. So it's a story about the Northern Lights. And find out about real reindeers. It's a BBC Earth. The last one. I already had this on Blu-ray, but I like the artwork. Fly Boys, James Franco. From the producer of Independence and the Patriot. This is inspired by a true story. Okay, now we're almost done. Now, this is the Walmart bin, you know, that big bin you dig through. Uh, some I dug, some uh, are the ones from the bin and some aren't. So this is what I picked up. The Mermaid's Cursed. Cooler Duder said he's in here. The other YouTuber. I haven't watched it yet. So I'll be looking for him in this. And it came with a beautiful slipcover. Of course I picked the prime slipcover. And... I've always been fascinated by mermaids. So, after the discovery of an illicit affair, a, journal a journalist falls in love with a seductive, sultry, and young mermaid he meets on the beach. Huh. Infatuation turns into obsession. I wonder if he, she's a mermaid when he falls in love or she's human. Oh, well. I guess I have to watch it to find out. Oh, this tower on the side is getting tall. I, I'm scared it's going to fall. 
And then I, I also found in the bin Kevin Costner, Bill Paxton, the Hatfields and the McCoys. Never forgive, never forget. Original uncut version. So here is the back. Who doesn't remember the story about the feud between the Hatfields and the McCoys? It's a Sony release and it was so pretty. I just had to get it. Uh, I found out when I got home, I had the Blu-ray of it, but that's okay. I can appreciate the artwork. Now, this was also in the bin, Night School by Kevin Hart. With Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish, this extended version. I thought I'd give it a try. I like those two actors. It's a universal release. And, you know, something uh, to put in the... I can watch it while I'm doing something. But if it's good, I'll put down what I'm doing and watch that instead. Then I found a shout release, Firestarter with True Barrymore. So naturally, I had to get this. This wasn't in the bin, by the way. I was surprised that I didn't have this in my collection. Firestarter is based on the unforgettable best-selling book by Stephen King. It's the extraordinary life of Charlene or Charlie. Stars as a child. Oh, I'm not going to read anymore. I don't want to give it away. I'm sure most of you saw it. Good add to my Stephen King collection. Now this was in the bin. Because I wouldn't pay full price for this. Uh, Ten minutes gone. Michael Chiklis, Bruce Willis, keep your enemies close. I might as well get it. It's an action flick. And it came with a slip cover. Okay, that's what sold me. The beautiful slip cover. In the bin, still minty fresh. I grabbed it before other people started rummaging through and ruining the corners. Now, the rest weren't in the bin. Seven. I bought it. Uh, I do have it, but it's in a set. But now I have it as a standalone Blu-ray. Everyone knows this movie already. What's in the box? Oh, it says it right there. Morgan Freeman, a young Brad Pitt, uh, follow trying to catch a notorious serial killer. And Gwyneth Paltrow. That's where he met Gwyneth Paltrow on this set, and that's when they started to go out. Seven. Okay, oh, it almost fell. And I'm coming down to the last two. Uh, the standoff at Sparrow Creek. This is from the producer, Bone Tomahawk. This was $5, so that's why I grabbed it. It looked, it's, uh, it's a police ex-cop. Here's the slipcover. Sorry about that. The words were too tiny. I couldn't read it. Let me try it again. It's a nail-biting, captivating thriller. Let me get my little bifocals. It said, after a mass shooting at a police funeral, reclusive ex-cop Gannon realizes that the killer belongs to the same militia he joined after quitting the force. Oh, so he's going to be hunting down the killer of that cop. So that's fun. And now the last one, I already have the DVD. So this is an upgrade. It was only $5. Marrowbone, Marrowbone with slip cover, but it is a little beat up. Now I had mixed feelings about this movie. Uh, everyone liked it. When I watched it, I wasn't, I wasn't like, oh, but you know what? I'm going to give it another try on Blu-ray this time. Maybe I'll like it better. Anyway, that's it for the haul from all those different little stores. So it's like a mixed bag. And again, remember to 
Submit your guess for the three digital codes. Oh, I can't get it now. It's under the pile. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Fa Finding Nemo, Annihilation, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Don't forget the first 50, the first 50 guesses has a chance. Pick a number between 1 and 150. Oh, very important. Try not to pick the same number that's already been selected. Um, that's why it's good. You can look at all the comments because I do triple check to make sure the numbers aren't duplicated. But, you know, I want to make sure that you see it too. So as soon as we get the first 50, I will draw the winner with the random number generator. Good luck, everyone. Goy Hunter out. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to win. But all my loyal subscribers, thank you. Comment below with your guess or with a comment. I'll answer. Hit that notification button so you know when I'm going to drop another episode of the Goy Hunter. Goy Hunter out. Arrivederci. Peace and wear that mask.